Thank you so much. I am so honored and humbled to be included among such a dynamic group of strong, compassionate, trailblazing women. For every person in this room you've inspired, there are hundreds more whose lives you've changed through your actions and your spirit. Thank you for being an inspiration to me. Today we are shining a light on important causes that affect so many. For me, my journey to Children's Hospital Los Angeles began when I was young and long before I ever stepped foot through their doors. Just shy of my 23rd birthday, my father was diagnosed with esophageal cancer that took his life within a matter of weeks. That was the hardest thing that I've ever been through, and it gave me a first-hand understanding of the toll, both physically and emotionally, that illness can take on family. <clears throat> Having the best medical care is paramount. Having a support system is critical. Having someone take the time to let you know they care, whether it's a stranger or a neighbor or someone that you really look up to, can be the light that carries you through your darkest days. Right in my backyard in Los Angeles is one of the country's best children's hospitals, where the leading research in pediatric cancer, diabetes, neurological disorders, and so much more. They train the next generation of pediatric specialists specialists in more than 350 specialties. They care for more than 107,000 kids and their families every single year. They come from around the world seeking top care for practically any complex illness and injury you can imagine. These children are just starting their lives and they deserve the best care, the best support, and to know that everyone in the community really cares about them. So giving our time and support became really important to me and my family. Now CHLA has me on speed dial, and whether they need funding for car seats for their special needs children, or toys to hand out during the holidays, or Mother's Day mani petties for patient moms who haven't taken a second for themselves, I know that I get so much out of this, probably more than they do. Helping a nurse perk up in the middle of a long 12-hour shift, shift is priceless. Making a patient smile and forget for a little bit what they are going through is a really precious gift. Seeing a parent relax and get a few minutes of peace can be heartbreaking and uplifting. I've learned that even the smallest gest gesture has a huge impact and never underestimate the power of a selfie. During one holiday visit, a young girl named Gracie, who I met, was finishing a year-long treatment for a malignant tumor in her leg. And even then, it was really tough. Now, as I hold my own baby girl, I cannot imagine being in Gracie's mom's shoes. All Gracie wanted was to just go home for the holidays, and unfortunately, that wasn't possible for her. She and her family were keeping up brave fronts, but everyone's hearts were heavy. Sometimes just being there for someone can cheer them up and give them the strength to continue their fight. Gracie and I hugged, took lots of selfies, and she told me her story. Hopefully my visit brings a ray of sunshine to patients such as Gracie and revive their spirits. And by the way, Gracie today is at home and in remission. Today we gather... Today we gather to appreciate the power of women, but I'd like to put the spotlight on the women at CHLA who make the impossible possible. Women occupy roles at all levels at CHLA as management executives, surgeons who perform heart transplants, remove brain tumors, and correct curved spines, radiologists, rheumatologists, ophthalmologists, physical, behavioral, and occupational therapists, and of course, the nurses on every floor that extend themselves during every shift. For over 114 years, CHLA has been there for all who pass through its doors, regardless of their ability to pay. In addition to loving care, CHLA is at the forefront of research that is shared throughout the world. Recently, I traveled to Armenia to discover my cultural roots 
and um, CHLA has eye doctors that are using telemedicine to access patients in Armenia's Children's Hospital for babies in their neonatal unit. The doctors in LA guide the doctors in Armenia through surgery to restore these young babies' sight. This is a powerful use of technology and shows the future is bright for healthcare regardless of where the patient is located. In closing, I want to acknowledge Variety for creating this outstanding and meaningful event, and thank you to Lifetime and Entertainment Industry Foundation and today's other sponsors for their support. Let me leave you with this quote that's very important to me. Here's to strong women. May we know them, may we be them, may we raise them. Thank you.